Hello and welcome to tutorial 126 and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the market depth provider. What I'm going to do actually is two different programs and two perhaps different videos and the first one we're going to do a very very simple program which will use the market depth provider to simply plot levels on a chart and you can see a chart developing here. Uh, the information is real time so we see the flat lines and then we're seeing these these uh, lines moving as the market depth provider is updated. So that's going to be a super simple one. And then what I'm going to do is create a more complex program. And what this one does is it draws lines on a chart and then uh, adjusts those lines, both for position, price position, and also length, depending on the size of a particular bid level or ask level. So let's go back to the uh, well, let's just arrange all and then we're going to go and uh, continue looking at uh, this program here. So the first thing we go into the development environment and I'm going to create a new indicator like so and we're going to call it tutorial underscore tutorial 126 underscore simple. Okay having done that we're going to be looking at the toolbox and we want a market depth provider so I'm going to double click there then that's already selected I'm going to go to the properties and we want this to be uh, real time I'm going to set it uh, to local we're going to load this thing so we're going to make that true the name we could call it something a little more easy to use so MDP uh, symbol. The symbol is going to be the symbol on the chart that this thing is applied to and the rest is fine. So that's good. One other thing we need to set up an event for this. So we've got there and we, we want to do an update event. So I'm going to double click there and there we have the update event. And what we're going to do is we want to plot the three bid levels. So Let's just uh, do this to start with, and uh, this is probably going to generate an error, but I just want to show you what we need to test. So MDP dot dot, and we want bid levels, and uh, the way we get these is they are in square brackets. So square brackets, the inside bid level is going to be zero in the square brackets, and period again and we need the price like so and we're going to do the same thing for the next two levels so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to make that plot two and make that bid level one like so and uh, copy that again and make it plot three and bid levels two so the first three levels, I'm going to verify this. Now I'm going to apply it to the chart now. As I mentioned, we may get an error and I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's uh, insert the indicator, simple. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just turn off the one I had originally. So I'm going to turn the status to zero. We've got uh, this one switched on. So we're just waiting for the market depth provider to update. There you go, you can see it there. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the colors of those plots so that we can see them a little more clearly. So plot one, uh, let's make that magenta. Plot two, make that cyan. Plot three, yellow's fine. And also the style. So I'm just gonna make that a little thicker. Okay, so we'll just uh, watch this working for a little while. Now, what I was alluding to was the, uh, the fact that we should really test before we try and access a particular level like there's something from the provider. We really need to make sure that it is there. And the way we do that, we can count the bid levels. So we can say if bid, or rather let's uh, MDP, bid levels count 
is greater or equal to three, so we want three levels, then begin, end, like so. Okay, so there we have the program applied and as the uh, program develops, we'll see the lines begin to move. And um, one other thing I just wanted to do is in the next uh, program, which I'm gonna be going through, uh, you will see that I've included, in this one we're using the, uh, the provider down here in the tray. One thing that we could do is go to view designer generated code, and then we could copy some of this uh, coding here into the program, uh, the main program. Therefore, we would not need this provider in the, uh, the tray at the bottom. And that's in fact what we're gonna be doing uh, in the other program. So uh, I've left this running for a few minutes on uh, the chart and you can see now these, uh, these lines forming, moving closer together and further apart and so on. Incidentally, when, when you run this tutorial and the other tutorial that I'm gonna describe, clearly you need to have a symbol for which there is market depth information. In this particular case, I've got a, uh, a Bitcoin uh, future from the CBOE. Anyway, thank you very much.